lecture on cording, I'm wearing a cap because I just twisted my spine getting this amp up to here. Right, so you just watched, hopefully if you got to this point, two clips. One was the Carrier Tone OTS-50 here, and the other was the Mesa Boogie Mark III lead channel. Um, I'm not going to tell you which was which until, I don't know, tomorrow or something. Let's try and get some comments happening, but let me know if you have an idea about which one was which. Uh, you know, clip A or clip B, if you could say I think that one's that and that one's that. Leave that in the comments, it'd be interesting. So, for me, I don't think I'd be able to pick them apart um, if I hadn't just done it. Both, I think, sound basically what I'm looking for. But as I was doing some reading up on kind of the Dumble architecture and all this stuff, the cascading lead channels, and I was also reading up on the Mezabuki Mark One, which was supposedly the, the very first kind of hot rodded Fender design. I was basically reading up on it and reading some interviews and Randall Smith essentially said that he looked at a schematic kind of years later from when they were both working on their kind of designs, Dumble and Randall Smith, and the Mark II lead channel and the Dumble ODS lead channel, uh, supposedly the schematic for those who's incredibly similar um, and whether that happened by accident or not, I guess no one really knows. But, so basically, I looked into that and I was thinking, well, that's interesting. And I've just grabbed this amp and I've had the carrier tone for a little while now. So I thought, well, let's put this to the test and, you know, see which lead channel I kind of prefer. Um, see if I can get them to sound close. Um, so the EQ on this amp was off for that video. Um... Uh, I will say that there's a little bit more flexibility with the Mark III. Uh, you've got the EQ sliders um, and kind of pull deep functions and shift functions and brights and all this sort of stuff. Um, although I guess you've got bright and deep switches on there. Haven't you? Hmm. Didn't think of that. You've got a reverb on this. But anyway, so. If you're looking for that Dumble sound, maybe you can tell me, does either one of those clips sound like a Dumble to you? Um, uh, it's worth noting that the Carrier Tone OTS has got a pretty good reputation. I don't know if people would say it's the best Dumble clone out there. There's obviously Bluedo drives and um, things like that, which are probably Van Wilden, Twinkleland, you know, the, the really expensive kind of boutique Dumble clone makers to rock. Um, but I think they're pretty well regarded. Um, so yeah, that was just my experiment for this morning. Um, let me know what you reckon. Um, I'm, I'd be really happy with either of those lead tones. Um, without two notes, Torpedo Captor X, the volume would have been pretty crazy in the room, but um, it'd be fun to gig with either of these amps, I think, once gigs are a thing again. But yeah, let me know if that was interesting at all. Hopefully you enjoyed the tones there a bit. Um, if you could like and subscribe, that would really help me. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Cheers.